What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Nerd Realm. I'm Kyle the Wanderer, and on today's Card Vault series, I'm going to show you the Pokemon card from Base Set Unlimited. Number 11, Nido King. So, without further ado, let's reveal the card. So there it is, the Pokemon card Nido King from Base Set Unlimited. Now, you can see in the top left corner of the card that this is a Stage 2 Pokemon card. Pokemon cards are the main cards used in the game to battle your opponents. Stage 2 Pokemon cards can be used when the required Pokemon depicted in the small artwork box is already in play. Nidoking evolves from Nidorino. To the right of the stage title, you have the title of the card, which in this case is Nidoking. In the top right corner of the card, you have the Pokemon's HP or hit points, which in this case is 90. Next to that, you have the symbol of the Pokemon's energy type, which in this case is Grass. Below that, you have the card illustration. We'll take a closer look at that in a moment. Below the illustration, you have some Pokédex data. Nidoking is a drill Pokémon. Its average length is 4 feet 7 inches. Its average weight is 137 pounds. Below the data, you have the Pokémon's attack moves or abilities. Nidoking's first move is Thrash, which states Flip a coin. If heads, this attack does 30 damage plus 10 more damage. If tails, this attack does 30 damage and Needle King does 10 damage to itself. The attack does 30 plus damage and the requirement to use the attack is 1 grass and 2 colorless energy. Needle King's second move is Toxic, which states, The defending Pokemon is now poisoned. It now takes 20 poison damage instead of 10 after each player's turn, even if it was already poisoned. The attack does 20 damage, and the requirement to use the attack is 3 grass energy. Underneath the moves, on the left side, you have the Pokemon's weakness, which in this case is Psychic. In the center, you have the Pokemon's resistance, which in this case Needle King doesn't have a resistance. On the right side, you have the Pokemon's retreat cost, which in this case is 3 energy. Below this, you have the Pokemon's Pokedex entry, which reads as follows. Uses its powerful tail in battle to smash, constrict, then break its prey's bones. After that, you have the featured Pokemon's current level which in this case is level 48. Next to that, you have the Pokemon's Pokedex number, which in this case is Pokedex number 34. Down in the right corner is the card set number, which is number 11 out of 102. Next to that, you have the card rarity symbol. The star represents a rare card and since the background of the card artwork has a holographic foil, this card is considered a hollow rare card. To the left of the set number, you have the copyright information, which is owned by Nintendo, Creatures, and Game Freak, and the card is made by Wizards. To the left of the copyright, you have the illustration artist. This card was illustrated by Ken Sugimori. Speaking of the illustration, let's take a closer look at it now. The illustration features drawn artwork of a purple bipedal horned dinosaur-like creature with a resemblance towards the monster Baragon from Godzilla. The Needle King has a rounded purple head with a narrow pointed snout. In the center of Needle King's forehead is a long pointed purple horn. Below Needle King's horn are two triangular shaped white eyes with black pupils. At the tip of Needle King's snout are two small black slits for nostrils. Below Needle King's snout is a wide opened mouth revealing a large red tongue. 
Running along the bottom jaw are small, pointed, white teeth and the last tooth on the side of the jaw is much larger and extends past the upper jaw. Along Needle King's cheeks are two fur-like spikes. On top of Needle King's head are two large and rounded purple ears with two short spikes on the tips. The interiors of the ears are split into two sections by a curved line where the inner section is a dark bluish purple and the outer section is a light bluish purple. Starting at the top of Needle King's head, in between its ears is a row of purple spikes running down its back, stopping before its tail. Below Needle King's head is a thick and muscular purple body. At the top of the body are two large defined pecs, preceded by a short midsection and then proceeded by the remaining rounded section of the body. On the sides of Needle King's upper body are two thick and sectioned purple arms. The Needle King's sectioned off shoulders are large and circular. Proceeding from the shoulders is a short and more slender section of the arm. Proceeding that is a longer and larger rounded forearm. At the back of the forearm, along the elbow, is a shark fin-like spike. At the ends of Needle King's arms are three short white claws. In the illustration, the Needle King's right arm is extended outwards to the side, while its left arm is lifted at its side and angled in a ready-to-grab manner. At the lower end of Needle King's body, on the sides, are two short, thick, and sectioned purple legs. The legs have a thick and short thigh, which connect to a large, circular, sectioned-off knee, similar-looking to a large knee pad. Connected below the knee is the rest of the large, wide, and short leg. Protruding out from the bottom of the legs are short, sectioned, cone-shaped, flat feet. Behind the Needle King is a large, thick and long purple tail that is resting on the ground and extends out to the left where the tip is slightly arced upwards. Vertical lines run along Needle King's tail in large sections. Surrounding the Needle King is a thin, white aura. The Needle King is on a yellow holographic background with rays of different shades of orange extending out from behind the Needle King along with scattered white circles of various sizes. A little bit of trivia about this card. The Needle King in the illustration is slightly unique in that Needle King generally have a more teal colored ear interior rather than the bluish purple color in the card artwork. Another unique feature is that generally Needle King's chest, arm spikes, and sectioned off cone shaped feet are a distinct white color rather than the purple tone in the illustration. And there you go. That about wraps up our up close look at the Pokemon card Needle King from Base Set Unlimited. Stay tuned for the next card in this Card Vault series presented by the Nerd Realm. So, what are your thoughts on this card? And did you ever own a copy of this card? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you'd like to see more, please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you can be notified when new videos are live. These simple actions will help to greatly support this channel. If you'd like to help support this channel to grow even more, visit my Patreon page at patreon.com slash thenerdrealm where you can receive exclusive benefits such as early access to videos and more. 
And if you'd like to get your hands on your own Pokemon cards, visit my web store, trainermerch.com, where we have thousands of Pokemon card singles and codes, and every purchase helps to directly support this channel. Check out these next videos on the screen. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep it nerdy.